I visited the most dangerous neighborhood in the Dominican Republic. It's so bad that not even the police come here. Wale is a vulnerable part of the main city that has been labeled as dangerous and filthy. A place where the average person is barely making enough to make ends meet. Living in homes made from wood or sheet metal right next to a river surrounded by trash. The government has completely neglected places like Wale to invest more into resorts and touristy areas. And what they left was no waste management to clean up the trash, no jobs for the people to work, and improperly built homes that leak when it rains. You see, the average Dominican makes 16,000 Dominican pesos, which is about 280 US dollars a month. Around in the month, 8,000 8, 8, pesos. The cost of living wages are double, with an average of 540 US dollars a month. Many people can't find jobs, and many Dominicans don't have the opportunities to become financially stable. Those that live in vulnerable neighborhoods have it even harder. 40% of the population in the Dominican Republic lives in poverty, which is why more Dominicans want to leave their country and go to the States in hopes of bringing their wealth back to their families. Others are locked into poverty, and those who are farmers can benefit from eating their own grown fruits and vegetables. Yet everyday necessities like electricity are still hard to get. Do you you guys have electricity? Here, no. 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 The electricity is very expensive. Wow. It's very expensive in the, in the country. Many of them have more than two kids, so meeting their basic needs is incredibly difficult. People here only work for two things, to get food on their plates and to have a roof over their head. But in all that mess, the locals here are building small businesses out of their homes. They're hustling with what they have and making sure they have food on their plates. In fact, this isolated part of the country is thriving. The locals are dancing, the locals are playing, and still having fun. And did I mention that they love rapping? It was after visiting Wale that I truly understood that despite its bad reputation, despite all the negativity it receives, these neighborhoods are the true essence of the Dominican people. Their culture, traditions, it reflects its hardships, but shines light into how inspiring these people are. Every single Dominican I met had a smile on their face. And still, every Dominican I asked said they were happy. All Wale needs is a little more affection, a little more commitment, and a lot more awareness. Hola. <laughs> 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 <laughs>